Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are currently in my kitchen and I really needed a coffee. So I'm gonna show you how I make my iced coffees. I love having this during the afternoon. It's just a plain like iced coffee, um, sweet cream by Natural Bliss. It's their like all natural creamer and I like it cause it has like really simple ingredients um it's literally like three ingredients so awesome and i just put like a splash in my coffee so just like a tiny bit and then i will also add some hershey's syrup because i try not to snack during the day so this is like my sweet treat and normally I'll put it like around the rim before I pour the coffee, but today we're just kind of cheating. And then I'll just like shake it up a little bit. And then we add the best part. And then to top it off, I love to add cinnamon. So we are just preparing for this video because I need coffee. And that's it. That is the finished product. So let's get into the video, right? A few moments later. Okay, we are back in my office. I got my coffee, I'm feeling good. And I'm so excited for today's video because I have my first ever book subscription unboxing. I decided to get a subscription and try it out see what they're like if i want to try other boxes but this specific video is for owl crate and this is not sponsored i bought this myself i wanted to see again what it's like to have one of these shipped to me every month are they worth the hype how are the products like what are the books that they offer um and is it something that i want to continue with and try other boxes out potentially so i decided why not open it up with you guys and see um, if this would be something you'd be interested in as well or if you got the same book as me, um, we can talk about it. So that's what this video is gonna be about. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. And if this is the type of content you enjoy, coffee, books, um, trinkets, I guess, whatever is gonna be in this box, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So let's go ahead and see what goodies I have in my box. The first thing I noticed actually is that the subscription uh, side of the internet is very hard to get into. I searched like high and low trying to get on a wait list, trying to find a box that didn't have a wait list where I can just go ahead and subscribe and get a box right away and the only ones I could find that were available that piqued my personal interest were Owl Crate and um, Once Upon a Book Club, I think, Book Box, Once Upon a something. Um, and they have different options for these subscriptions. They have like a young adult box and an adult box. For Owl Crate, I'm pretty sure it's just young adult books and then like children's books, which I actually think is really cool if you have um, younger kids that are interested in reading. That would be a really cool gift idea, but this is uh, YA books primarily, and I love YA books. I've been really into YA fantasy lately, so I'm hoping I will enjoy the books that they have. Also, this reminds me of Hedwig and like getting mail from like an owl. So I don't know, I really, really liked the theme of this um, company, and I'm really excited that they didn't have a wait list and I could just go ahead and sign up. The next thing I noticed is that the box is actually kind of small. I pictured like those big like FabFitFun boxes. I don't know if you've ever gotten one of those, but I love the idea of getting a subscription box every month. I did a FabFitFun for a while and I liked it, but honestly, it's kind of hit or miss as well. Some of the items I end up re-gifting. So unless it's a box that I'm really, really into, and I know I'm gonna have a product that I'm craving. I don't t tend to stick around for subscriptions very long just because 
Again, I end up getting an overwhelming amount of things that I just don't really use on a regular basis. And I found that to be true as well with BoxyCharm, although BoxyCharm is really awesome as well and is relatively affordable. But I wanted to get into the book subscription box uh, life and see what that was all about. And I'm so excited to try this one out. It was $32 that I paid, but they just recently increased prices to like $36 a month. So, this is what we got, and uh, let's go ahead and open it. So, okay, so the first thing you get is kind of like a how to open and share on social. Super cute. Um, and then I think it's like a paper right on top of the box. Yeah, so it tells you about what this box's theme is. So I guess every box has a theme either for the month, for the holiday, whatever. Um, this one is a study in the shadows. It's their October box, which by the way, it's Halloween today. So happy Halloween, everybody. If you're watching this, whenever I make this live, it'll probably be the day after um, I'm filming this. So happy November to you guys, but happy Halloween to myself. Okay, so this was a study in the shadows. So it has a lot of um, little trinkets in here and items from books that take place in like a school or university setting, dark academia. And another cool thing about Owl Crate is that you get the book of the month and then you also get a classic book for the same type of um, vibe that they're going for, like theme. So this month's um classic edition is uh the secret garden really cool because i've never read that either and all of the book covers are also like limited editions or they're just per they're made solely for this subscription box so that's really cool as well if there's something that you're looking for that you really really like um check out these subscription box websites sometimes they just sell the book by themselves and if there's a book you really want a limited edition dust jacket for, then you can probably buy it um, on these websites. So that's really cool. They have a lot of options. And then sometimes they also have like a section where you can just shop like the book, bookish items, book gifts, um, all that kind of stuff. So really cool. But now let's get into the items. I'm so excited. Okay. So the first thing that I see is this. And it says Zodiac Academy ID card case, which is actually really cool. I probably would use this as like a luggage tag, to be honest, because I travel a lot and you can never not have one. Like you need to have one, especially nowadays. I feel like luggages are getting lost all the time. So definitely have one of these on your carry on, on your like check in luggage, on your backpack, like stick these places because you need them in case just in case so that is really cool i liked the zodiac academy i'm really excited for the last book to come out and i'm really hoping it's the last book because these books this series has just gone on way too long but i'm excited anyway so that's a cool little item to have and it's pretty good quality like it's like hard plastic so i like that and then this is like a thick rope so not bad, I actually thought these would be kind of like cheaply made, but this is actually pretty cool. Next, we have, okay, this says Alexandrian Society, and it's like a box. I don't know if I can zoom in if it'll focus. There it is. Um, yeah, so it's got like a, a bamboo type of cover, and then this is, Plastic and let me see if I can open it. Okay, so this is a like lunch carrier box. It has like utensils in here, and I guess you could just put your lunch in there. And then this probably, I'm assuming, wraps around the lid so that you know it's like nicely like sealed shut. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's what this is, and that actually is really cool. I do work from home, I don't actually go out anywhere but this actually will be probably well used regardless because i like to obviously have leftovers i cook regularly i meal prep so always good to have something like this if you have or if you're going to school i guess this is um 
gonna work really well for you. Or if you have like a nine to five, you go to an office, you can always um, benefit from having something like this. So that's a really cute gift. And again, it's like pretty decent quality. Like this is like real wood and it smells like this was freshly painted. Like it just smells like paint. So um, yeah, and then it has like the brand owl crate on the back pretty cool gift i'll have to figure out though if i can wash that okay then we have this like little item here let's see if it'll zoom in it says literary luggage enamel pin and limited edition so this is cute okay so this i actually haven't read yet so this is um a gallant from the book gallant by v.e schwab it's an um it's like a luggage pin or it's a luggage but it's like a backpack pin so i have a few of these that i don't know where to put them i need to get like a cute little canvas backpack that i can stick them to because i love pins like this but i have nowhere to put them so maybe i need to get like a fanny pack crossbody purse bag whatever um because this is actually really cute and I like V.E. Schwab, so I do need to read Gallant. I need to like make time to read more of her books because everyone talks about her. And I did really like The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Okay, so this is, well, on the back, actually, this is a writing on the back. And it says, you can justify anything if you do it poetically enough. That's cute, cute little quote. And... All right, so I'm opening it up and... Okay, I think it is a sunglasses case. So that's really cool. It actually comes in handy. So it snaps closed just like this. The coat's on the back. And then on the front, it's like a book, like a stack of books with like leaves around it. And then there's like little skulls here and here. So I don't know what book this quote is from, but the quote is actually really cute. You can't go wrong with sunglasses case. Like that's actually pretty handy. And I do like that it's collapsible. So if you're traveling, that's really nice to have. And I do travel a lot. I have like regular glasses for like seeing and then I have sunglasses. So this is really nice to have on hand and just keep in my backpack so I'm not tossing my sunglasses everywhere. So that is really nice. And this is also like, guys, this is good quality. There's a magnetic snap here. So I'm impressed. Okay, and I think the last two items are the books. So we have The Secret Garden and here is their cover that they chose. Um, it's like black and white with like little green leaves falling down. And I've never read this book, but I am excited to have this in my collection. I do like reading classics, so I will make time for this for sure. And I just, yeah, that, that is actually really, really pretty. And the spine is really cute as well. It's hard to show because it's like, it's like that glossy finish, but I'm really excited to have this. And then, oh, we have a bookmark. Okay. We have like this wooden, bookmark it's like thin like paper but it's made out of wood and it says uh from knowledge comes vengeance and then it says the same thing in latin and then on the back it says beauty is terror whatever that means um i'm assuming that's from a quote somewhere i don't know but always good to have a bookmark all right now we get to the book and it is the whispering dark by kelly andrew so it's an Owl Crate exclusive and it is also a signed edition, which is really nice. It came like plastic wrapped. And then on the back, there is like a little uh, letter from the author that she wrote and signed. Okay, so here is the dust jacket. Um, it is like black and white, silver embossed, very pretty. And um, here is the inside definitely gives those dark academia vibes for sure i love this and i'm pretty sure it's reversible so you can like wear it however you want but that is very cute i love that here is the outside of like the naked back it had or i think this is upside down here lighthouse in the back and then in the front is like this 
hand holding, I believe it's like a pomegranate and there's like some Latin text here. Very pretty. And then again, we have a design on the back cover. This is the original cover and then we have her signature right here. So I am super excited to have this. This is actually really, really cool. Um, I feel like this is worth the box in itself and then everything else is just kind of like extra, which is really nice because for $32, I feel like this is what it would cost at a bookstore. You know, like a $30 book is pretty normal for a hardcover, new edition, exclusive edition. That's how much they would cost. So having everything else is a pretty cool plus. And then I'm just gonna read to you guys the synopsis of this book in case you're interested. I have no idea what this book is about. So we're both going into this blind. Um, it says Delaney always talked to the dark. She never expected it to talk back. Um, she's tired of being seen as fragile just because she's deaf. Oh, that's so interesting. We have a deaf character. So when she's accepted into a prestigious program that trains students to slip between parallel worlds, she's excited for the chance to prove herself, but her semester gets off to a rocky start as she faces professors who won't accommodate her disability and a pretentious upperclassman fascinated by Delaney's unusual talents. Um, Colton died when he was nine years old. He woke several, several weeks later at the feet of a green-eyed little girl. Now, 12 years later, Delaney has stumbled back into his orbit, but Colton's been ordered to keep far away from the new girl and the, voice, and the voices she hears calling to her from the shadows. So Delaney wants to keep her distance from Colton. She seems to be the only person on campus who finds him more arrogant than charming, of course. Um, but after a student turns up dead, her and Colton are forced to form a tenuous alliance and it just goes from there. So, sounds pretty cool. We have a school mystery that they're trying to figure out. We do have a character with a disability that is um, really, really interesting. I haven't read anything like that um, or a character with that disability. So I'm really interested to read about that, maybe get some more insight into it and just have having that representation for them, I think is really cool as well. Um, so I'm excited. I do think this is a cool young adult October read. So if you guys have read this, let me know what you think. And also if you've ever tried Owl Crate or any other book subscription box, what do you think of them in general? Are there any that you would recommend? Um, do you like these types of videos? Should I try another book box for you guys? Should I do like a monthly unboxing? Let me know in the comments down below. But I think guys, that is going to be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching and really excited to play with all my new little toys and read my new book. And yeah, so until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.